Hey guys, welcome to another video here. I gotta show you how I ended up fixing my clutch. Um, sorry for the bad video quality, I had to use my cell phone. Again, like a lot of my videos, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Basically what happened was, my clutch wasn't fully adjusted. Um, I went to adjust it, basically to install it into my truck, and uh, pushed the clutch forks down too far and the whole thing ended up falling apart. It took me a long time to figure out how to get it back together. So this is a video to show you how to adjust a clutch and if you do what I did and it went too far, how to fix it. Um, I can't actually show me doing that, but it's actually pretty straightforward if you just follow my instructions. I hope this helps somebody because uh, it caused me a lot of stress and there were no videos and no instructions anywhere on how to do this. Um, I think I will just play the video now, so please do me a favor, like, subscribe, leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions I can. Enjoy! Okay, adjusting the clutch. This is important. Um, if you take your clutch out and you do not change anything and you're reusing all the exact same parts, the same disc, the same clutch, just don't touch it, put it back in, torque it to spec and you're done. However, if you buy a brand new clutch, you need to check that it is adjusted properly if it's an adjustable clutch. You can tell it's an adjustable clutch by these springs here. Um, and what happens is, basically as your clutch wears out, these springs kind of stretch out and there's these self adjusters all around that click into place and keep your clutch feeling like it's brand new um, or set right all the time. Basically, sometimes what can happen is in shipping, things can get bounced around or maybe the factory doesn't set it right. I don't know how they get out of alignment but these springs won't be completely compressed. They'll be, you know, out here or even out here. So what you need to do in that case is get it pressed set up, like I have here. Um, and you're basically gonna press these down um, and it's gonna kind of start clicking. And you're gonna see these little tabs in here, right there, there's one right there as well. And I'll point with the screwdriver right here and right here and all the way around the whole thing you just need to push these down just enough that this becomes loose once it becomes loose even just a little bit you can stick the screwdriver in the holes and pry it over and you pry it until you get this nice and tight and then you just release the pressure it's super easy don't make the mistake that I made and push this too far down because once you push it too far down these springs slide right off and everything spins around inside there and uh, it isn't easy getting it back together. So um, I wasn't able to find any of this on the internet. I hope this helps. Um, <laughs> I wish you the best of luck if you do get these springs off there because it was really hard. But yeah, it's, it's not too bad. You just kind of stick a screwdriver in and pry this over. Um, so yeah. Hey guys, once again, thanks for watching. I know that uh, this isn't a super good quality video, I said that, but I'm um, hoping it'll help some people. I had a hard time finding this info. I know I didn't say it, but this was for a 2008 Ford Ranger. Again, it would be similar for almost any clutch out there. Um, so if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe, and thanks again for watching.